line for an hour to see the world premiere of this thing, I finally get up to the cashier to buy my ticket. When <laughs> you know what? I didn't have my wallet with me. Talk about a letdown. Hey, wait a minute. Looks like we have a fuel imbalance. 600 pounds less on the left side at the moment, which is weird since the fuel flows have been equal since takeoff. World Travel 1392, contact Male Center now on 119.7. World Travel 1392, switching, thanks. Male Center, World Travel 1392 with you level at 350. World Travel 1392, roger. It's possible that it's a fuel quantity gauge malfunction and not a real imbalance, but given the rate at which... Engine surge number one. That's the low fuel side. Disengage the auto throttle and bring the thrust lever back to idle. Engine failure number one. I'll call ATC. You squawk 7700, then we'll run through the checklist. Just keep flying. Molly Center, World Travel 1392 declaring an emergency. World Travel 1392, go ahead. Molly Center, World Travel 1392. We have an engine failure in a suspected fuel leak. We'll be unable to maintain flight level 350. Request an immediate descent. World Travel 1392, roger. Descended your discretion to 10,000. Down to 10,000, World Travel 1392. All right, we've got an engine failure on the left-hand side. Make a normal descent to 10,000. With a possible fuel leak, restarting the engine could be a fire risk, so let's secure it. Ready for the checklist? Here we go. Engine failure shutdown checklist. Auto throttle, disengaged. Thrust lever, idle. Engine start lever, cut off. APU, start. APU generator, on. Engine failure shutdown checklist complete. Okay, let's look at our options here. We're about 90 miles north of Mali International, and we can easily make it there as long as the fuel leak doesn't cause additional problems. Hanumadu Airport is quite a bit closer to the north, but it's a short strip, so we run the risk of going off the runway if we try to land it there. It's your call, Captain. You can turn to the south to Mali, or turn north if you'd rather try for Hanamadu. World Travel 1392, roger. Proceed direct to Hanamadu. Continue descending to 10,000 and use the nav display to head for Hanamadu. Identifier, Victor Romeo Mike Hotel. We have now started a left turn, heading 340. That's approximately 20 degrees to the left of the direct heading to the airport. And that will bring us in a good position to then start the right-hand turn later on onto final. We are above the 3 degrees glide slope, glide path. So we will now increase our center to 3,000 feet and reduce the thrust on the engine to accordingly. The reason for the bring to the smaller airport is that the fuel quantity is decreasing at a very fast rate. Um, we would have uh, ran out of fuel some way, somewhere in the air should have resulted, um, of course, later on in an all-engine-out glide to Mali. And it's difficult to calculate the, the exact distance that one can fly, because we don't know at exactly what point the fuel would have run out. And so Mali was close to the limit, according to the calculations that were made here. Um, but um, we were not sure if we could reach it. Um, the smaller airport um, only has a runway length of 1,300, but um, we are well within gliding range. We have um, made our descent with a, with a high um, rate of descent, peaked at 3,500. We've avoided making any 360s or any um, complex patterns um, due to the fact that it would be difficult to calculate the you know, distance required. You're not final, crossing 3,000. 
and we are slightly above the glide slope, the three degree glide slope as you can see. Why? Because we'd like to land with full flaps and we need that excess altitude because the speed will then later on, on later stages, fall quite quickly and we need that excess height. Hanamoto Tower, World Travel 1392 on the visual for runway 3 with two engines out. World Travel 1392 in sight, your number one, clear to land runway 3. Emergency equipment is standing by. Good luck, sir. <laughs> Thanks, we'll need it. We're still in clean configuration here. Almost there. Landing checklist. Landing gear, down. Lower the landing gear. For now, setting flaps 5. Flaps set for landing. Lower the flaps. Gear's coming down now. And we're now increase the flaps. Small step landing increases. Flaps flap 10. Sink rate. Flaps 15. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Sink rate. Flaps 25. Sink rate. Sink rate. And decreasing our descent rate accordingly. Sink rate. All this is done without joystick. Flaps 30, and now flaps full. Descent rate decreasing further to 900 feet per minute. We're very, very high, too high, but it's it's gonna suffice. It's gonna be enough. Derotating, quite a hard landing. In real life, would have probably resulted in a bounced landing, but uh, thank God it's FS FSX. World Travel 1392, welcome to Hanamado. And it worked out quite well. There we go.